Uh, as we discussed in the last lecture, due to the difference in lift in the right and left wing, the restoring moment is generated and due to which the equilibrium can be maintained. The role mode approximation, we are continuing from the last lecture. Let me rewrite the equation. Rolling moment is basically stabilizing the aircraft orientation along the x-axis, and the total moment due to the aileron and the pitch rate. We can write this expression. Do L do go delta A to capital delta delta A plus do L do P delta P and equal to IX to find out double dot. And this is the total moment holding moment acting along the x-axis. We can write here the roll rate. contributes to the rolling moment rolling moment due to the rotational inertia of the aircraft. And here, do L, let me define this equation number one. In equation number one, do L, do delta A, capital delta A, actually the roll moment due to the deflection of the ailerons. Roll moment and due to deflection of the aileron and this aileron deflection can be carried out by the control and do l do p delta p this is basically a roll damping moment damping moment This is also you can denote by LP also. And also we have seen that um, due to the steady increase in the, we know that del P equal to del phi dot, the pitch and pitch rate we can write Now, uh, considering this, considering this, the equation one, considering this, the equation one becomes, we can write. 1 upon ix do l do delta a capital delta a and 1 upon ix do l do p equal to so in place of phi double dot we can write del rate of change of the pitch rate we can write and from this we can write further dou p equal to so this part we can write l delta a and this part we can write lp so l delta a 
still type and this part you can write LP. These are stability derivatives. LP. Now, so here we can write here L delta A equal to 1 upon IX dou L dou delta A and LP 1 upon IX dou L dou P. So these are the stability derivatives. And this should be dot actually. Let me define this equation number. Now equation two, you can further write del p dot minus l p delta p equal to l delta a del delta a. And further, we can write del p dot by l p minus del p equal to l delta a del delta a divide by lp and further we can write if we denote tau the time constant 1 minus lp and substituting this parameter in equation number 3 we can write tau del p dot plus del p and this part will be negative del delta a capital delta a divided by l p and here tau basically time constant time constant of the system we are denoting this to make this problem simple and tau, tau actually tells us whether the system will be fast or slow. Based on the tau, we can increase the speed of the system. It tells us how fast and system approaches a new state. After being distorted. If tau if tau is small, system will respond very rapidly. very rapidly because we will we'll come up with this condition why it is happening so because the roots will be defined by this equation equation number four in terms of tau so we'll see very soon and if tau is large system will the respond very slowly. Now let's see how it is happening. So since we are doing the natural dynamics, we are not taking control into picture. So in equation number four, we, we have to uh, neglect this part because this part talks about the natural motion and the right hand side of equation equals it talks about the control part so to study the natural behavior of the system we have to consider the torque free motion so for all approximation control free response is tau delta p plus p dot plus delta p equal to zero 
and uh, we can write tau p dot plus sorry delta p dot equal to sorry plus delta p divided by tau equal to zero. So from this equation, equation number five, the only eigenvalues we are having here only one eigenvalues and which is basically equal to 1 upon tau. And if you want to find, if you apply the Laplace transform, also you can find the roots of the system and also from there also you can find the value of the eigenvalue of the roots. So if you take Laplace transform, we have tau s and delta p of s plus delta p is equal to zero and from this tau is plus one delta p is equal to zero hence the roots are s equal to one upon tau or if you have say eigenvalues lambda rule equal to one upon Sorry. 1 upon tau or we can write LP. So this is very very important part. So here LP actually the rolling moment when the aircraft is rolling the angular momentum creates a moment opposing the change in roll rate. So that's why it is negative actually. Last lecture also we have discussed about the negativeness of the LP and this this effect in the angular momentum is called known as gyroscopic effect so it is not some rotating moment which due to which the system can be stabilized or can gyroscopic And this gyroscopic effect can influence the rolling moment and here also if you notice due to the, the negative value of the root, uh, the system also stable system or uh, we can write as you already have discussed if the eigenvalues comes up to be negative then the system is basically stable we can say asymptotic stable and also eigenvalues corresponding to Roll subsidence is negative and purely real root. And also, it's found to be this L phase comes from very high in magnitude, so that's why it's highly converging maneuver, we can say. It is also fairly large, the this root large, even this root is large value in magnitude, and thus it is. 
entirely converging maneuver. So this is how we can uh, study the role mode approximation in the lateral directional linearized model of the aircraft. Now let's go to the last part of the approximation in the lateral direction, which is called Dutch roll approximation. So what is the takeaway from the last part? Last part basically stable maneuver due to the negative root in the dynamics. This value, the system is highly stable. So let me write some note on the Dutch roll approximation, then we can study the mathematical analysis. The Dutch roll is a type of lateral directional oscillation in aircraft dynamics which is characterized by characterized by a combination combination of yoing and rolling motions. And due to these two motions, rolling and yoing motion, combined rolling and yoing motion, this dash roll happens to in the aircraft dynamics. It occurs due to the coupling between the yoing yoing generally happens side to side side to side and rolling this rolling happens due to the tilting of the aircraft tilting motions of the aircraft now in the aircraft experiences disturbance it can initiate a yawn motion. And due to this yawing motion, the aircraft also can lead to a rolling motion. So due to the interconnected current nature of the yaw and roll, so we can write this yawing motion can lead to a rolling motion due to the interconnected nature of the yo and roll. So this is due to all about the dynamics, how the system is connected, the different states. Now, if you look the picturally how it is happening, let's assume we have one aircraft, we have aircraft, something like this. And this is the On view and due to this role, it also 
goes like this. This is something. Due to this interconnected neural motion, and again, it goes like this. So due to this interconnected nature of the EOROL, this kind of motion happens in the aircraft. So that's why this, when the EOROL moment happened, which lead to the rolling motion, and due to the interconnected nature of the EOROL, this kind of phenomena happens in the aircraft motion. Let's stop it here. We'll continue from the last lecture, how we can come up with the mathematical model of this dash roll approximation in the lateral directional motion. This is four. Now let's go to the mathematical part. Before you go, let me write some note. The Dutch rule approximation Primarily consists of side sleeping and your motion. So here, side sleeping the beta rate of change of the beta and the delta r. So how this variable going to affect the natural motion will look and other than this parameter we will neglect the rest of the state variable in the linearized model. So we can write hence we can neglect the rolling motion, rolling moment equation in the linearized lateral directional equation. With this assumption, the following straight equation, let me rewrite the linearized equation motion of the lateral directional motion of the aircraft and we are having the straight variable for the full linearized model delta p dot delta r dot and delta p dot equal to y beta by u naught y p by u naught one minus u y r by u naught g cos theta naught divided by u naught l beta l p l r zero n beta n p n r 0, 0, 1, 0, 0. And the straight vector we can write delta beta, delta p, delta r, delta phi gets reduced to 
So here we'll be assuming delta beta and delta r dot equation. This two. Delta beta dot delta r dot equal to y beta by u naught y r y r minus one u naught and n beta n r. So here actually one term should be here tan theta naught. Now we are having the state space model of the last rule approximation. Let me define this the equation number. For the Dutch rule, this is the first equation, linearized model. And once you have this state space model of the Dutch rule, we can come up with the characteristic equation and we can study how we can find the damping ratio and natural frequency in the Dutch roll approximation to study the above equation. We need to find find the roots of characteristic equation and how to find characterization this is basically lambda i a equal to zero and if you substitute here it will be lambda zero zero lambda minus y beta divided by u naught y r minus one u naught in beta in r equal to zero and further if you you can write lambda minus y beta min divided by u naught one minus y r u naught minus n beta lambda minus n r equal to zero and if you find the determinant you can write lambda square minus lambda n r minus y beta divided by u naught into lambda plus y beta u naught n r plus n beta minus n beta y r divided by u naught equal to zero and further we can simplify this expression in lambda square y beta plus u naught n r divided by u naught into lambda plus the constant term y beta n r minus n beta y r plus u naught n beta divided by u naught equal to zero. So this is the second order system and you can compare with the standard second order equation. So if you compare the equation to the equation two with the standard Cartesian equation is using s square plus two theta omega n s plus omega n square equal to zero. So we can find the damping ratio and natural frequency from equation two. So the undamped natural frequency Let's denote omega n dash rule dr and damping ratio theta dash rule or 
obtained as you can write um, omega and Dutch rule equal to y beta nr minus n beta nr plus u naught n beta divided by u naught and the damping ratio for Dutch rule we can write minus 1 by 2 omega n Dutch rule y beta plus u naught n r divided by u naught. So this, this is a damping ratio and natural frequency for the Dutch rule in the approximation, approximated uh, motion of the Dutch rule equation. Let's stop it here. We'll continue from the next lecture. In the next lecture, how we can come up with the, the full linearized model and based on the full linearized model, will come up ax plus bu so this is the full model full model so here if you look at the full model of lateral directional motion lateral directional motion so here a basically dimension is four cross four matrix from this we will have four roots and based on the four roots we will come up with three motions spiral uh, roll and dodge roll and then we will find the period time to get the half amplitude full amplitude and again we will come up with the individual approximation separately and we will compare the results then we will wind up this part Thank you.